Artemis 3, NASA's mission to return humans to the moon for the first time since 1972. In a few years, two astronauts will land on the barren landscape at the South Pole, and the first thing they will encounter, other than one-sixth gravity, are tiny particles kicked up by the descent engine on the Artemis 3 lander, and there will be lots of it. And there is no avoiding a simple fact. NASA and even commercial space missions will face an invisible threat to any spacecraft, rover, or lunar outpost. This invisible threat is represented by tiny particles of dust that hovers above the surface. But this is not any ordinary dust, but ground up lunar rock, regolith. It will clog drills, scratch spacesuits, and tear holes in gloves. And because lunar regolith absorbs sunlight, electrostatic particles can cling to, well, everything. So what is NASA doing to mitigate the harmful effects of lunar dust and lunar regolith? The Power and Propulsion Division has created the Lunar Development and Test Facility, offering lunar environment testing capabilities for subsystem and system hardware and assemblies. The facility will test three main areas, spacesuits, spacecraft components, and mechanisms with moving parts and joints. This unique facility enables a range of lunar environmental testing and research needs. The facility encompasses a 15-foot dirty thermal vacuum chamber, a 3-foot dirty thermal vacuum chamber, a dust containment and preparation lab, and a component test lab with dust box and bell jars. The facility will also have the capabilities to process and manufacture lunar regolith simulant used for realistic and reliable testing of dust mitigation. The facility will help NASA develop dust mitigation technologies, countermeasures and procedures that will be tested both here and on the moon with commercial autonomous rovers. Dust is difficult. Okay. Yep. Remind me to dust my camera too, will you? Don't forget to dust your camera. <laughs>